No, the, their defense is that unique. Um, they force more threes than anybody in our league, and, and uh, they're amongst the nation's leaders in uh, packing the paint and swarming to the ball and creating turnovers when the ball's in the paint uh, or along the baseline. Um, really good at walling you off collectively. Um, you got to make threes to beat them. You got to make jump shots to beat them. And, uh, you know, part of Russell's struggles were um, not that he wasn't ready to play or anything like that. He was juiced up. And, you know, unfortunately, we didn't do a good enough job with our interior passing. But um, they do a really good job like that on a bunch of bigs. And uh, unfortunately, um, not all 41 of our looks were great, but we did have some really good ones. And um, we needed some of those to go. I'm never going to be a guy that says we lost because we didn't make shots. Uh, 27 points off of uh, second chance points uh, off the offensive glass. Did a really poor job in the second 20 with our fight, um, with our attention to detail, with blocking out and finishing stops with rebounds. We out rebounded them by one in the first half. And you finished down 13. We got pounded on the glass in the second half. Um, not mature enough, not mentally tough enough to overcome missed shots and maintain what we were doing, staying the course defensively and being really competitive on the glass. Um, they had their way with us on the interior the entire second 20 minutes. Mike, when you talk about fight, is that what concerned you most about the final six plus minutes? Did you see a lack of fight from your team? Or, or what did you um, the, 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 overall, the second 20. I'm not going to shy away from it. I mean, it's not the last four or six. I mean, um, you know, we, we, we fought the sprint into to, to miss threes. Uh, we didn't fight on the defensive glass um, the way we needed to. And again, we, we, it's not like we're not um, at least somewhat capable. And, and they're the best offensive rebounding team in the country, right? But to, to out rebound somebody by one in the first half and get out rebounded by 14 in the next 20. Um, while you're missing shots, it's 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 obvious, and we've had these struggles all year. Uh, the teams at the top of our league stay the course, whether shots are going in or not, and we have struggled with it all year. Um, we're going to continue to um, preach the same messages, maybe in different ways, and keep uh, keep swinging away at this thing. Um, Tuesday night's another opportunity, but as I told our guys, we're going to hit adversity against Ole Miss. Um, shots aren't always going to fall. Um, so what, what are we going to do? You, uh, we, we don't keep these stats, obviously, but I know you guys do. It seemed like 50-50 uh, balls, hustle plays, and everything in the second half really went their way. And, and I, don't, I don't know what to owe it to. Yeah. But, uh, it, it, it simply put, it, 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 somebody observes sports, it looked like they wanted sure. it more. I mean, it's like they were having more to play for, playing harder. Yeah, I, th I thought in the last few minutes of the game, um, when they had a double-digit lead, um, I thought they were certainly quicker to the basketball. I, th I thought the first 30 minutes or so, um, you had two teams really, really getting after it. Um, I'll be the first one to tell you if I didn't think our guys battled um, in that regard. I, you know, we got out of a stance a few times and gave up uh, uh, screen in threes uh, just uh, unfortunately, uh, got beat to again offensive rebounds. We had some, we had missed blockouts at, at times where there was zero contact um, and no attention to detail. But then we had another uh, half a dozen or so, probably in the second half, where there's a little bit of contact and they were just a little bit tougher to the basketball. Um, and. Uh, We've we've had our rebounding struggles all year. I thought our guys played really hard in the first twenty to to neutralize those guys, but um, yes, it's it's just unfortunate we weren't able to to continue with that competitive spirit at home uh, in the second twenty uh, when shots weren't falling. You guys have lost nine of ten. Just oh my across, gosh. across the board, what has to change? Uh, we've got to rebound better. We've got to defend better. Um, we've got to respond better to adversity, you know, when shots aren't going. Um, we're going to continue trying different, uh, different lineups. You know, I thought our freshmen were really good. Uh, I thought some of our older guys really battled. Um, 
we've uh, we got to get back to work tomorrow. Any other questions from Mike? Mike, you guys are, uh, I guess at this point, one one behind Ole Miss for the win column. Do you guys put any kind of attention to try to climb out of the bottom four for the tournament, or that's like last on your list? Of yeah, it's 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 so far down there. I mean, when that shot goes up. And I'm guarding a guy from Texas A&M, and I don't go block him out. I, I don't care where you're seated or any. It, it, that, that's a that's a problem. Um, and it, we didn't have 14 keys to the game. You know, they're number one offensive rebound team in the country. It's pretty simple. Go block a guy out if you want to win. And uh, we didn't. Uh, we got to have more fight than that. And, and uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll keep preaching it, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can do uh, down the stretch with uh, with this team. Thank God, thank goodness for you know for another opportunity. Um, ready for practice tomorrow. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, guys.